get out and enjoy the area. Joining me is Lindsay, Lindsay Lemmer of Heartland Farm Sanctuary to talk about their fall farm tours and to give us an update on a very resilient resident yeah. at the farm. Lindsay, good morning to you. Good morning. Let's talk about what the fall farm tour has to offer and who it's geared towards. Okay, great. Well, the Fall Farm Tours, um, we have public ones for families, and we also have class trip opportunities as well. The public tours for families are just about every other Sunday in September and October. The next one is this Sunday, but I believe it may be filled up already. Uh, the next one is September 29th, and then there's three in October, the 6th, the 20th, and the 27th. So it's really good when you're looking at these public tours, but also teachers, if uh, they're listening, thinking, you know what, I might want my children to go see this. They just need to contact Heartland Farm Sanctuary. Exactly. All the details yes. are on our website. What are some of the things they get to see in this farm tour? Okay. Well, Heartland is home to over 60 animals, including wow. a variety of pigs, horses, sheep, goats, donkeys, you name it. So kids and adults have an opportunity to meet our over 60 animals. We'll have um, great fall treats available for everybody. Um, and everyone gets a mini pumpkin to take home. And they also learn Aww. about our animals and our mission and what we do in the community. Because you do rescue, that you're a nonprofit and you rescue animals, abandoned, abused farm animals, and you also use them to rehabilitate children with certain needs as well. So that's a really nice exactly. marriage of groups that need each other coming together. Now let's talk about a very special resident at your farm which gained a lot of attention. And oh, I just broke my heart when I heard little uh, Winnie's story, the piglet. How was yes. she doing? She was abused. Uh, a man was kicking her on the side of the road. Mm -hmm. Thankfully, someone rescued her. Our yes. friends at UW Veterinary Clinic worked on her. How yes. is her recovery now and her rehab? She is doing great. We are Good. really working at training her because she's a commercial farming pig. She's going to grow up to be very big. <laughs> uh, by the time she's six months old, she'll be 250 pounds full grown. She'll be around 800 pounds. So we're training her right now because we won't be able to control her when she's yes. that size. Yes. Um, our board member, Stephanie Lees, has been working with Jeannie Keys, a dog mm -hmm. trainer, owner of Dog Face LLC. So we've been doing some clicker training, upward conditioning. You're training a pig. Yes. Oh. Oh my gosh, now do the kids love it too? Yes, and, and that's part of the reason we're training her. Now, um, Winnie loves belly rubs. She's, uh, she's like a puppy like that. When someone rubs her side, her nickname is Timber now because she'll roll right over. So when she gets belly rubs, uh, Stephanie's also touching Just her fall. feet, her uh, face, everything. That's so, so nice. she gets used to and comfortable well, with being touched. I would like to make an invitation to Winnie to come on the morning show after she gets all trained up. I think that's going to be a lot of fun. And by the way, since I read about Winnie's story and saw the video, I still have not been able to put a piece of bacon in my mouth. Oh. I just can't do it now. If you would like more information on the fall farm tours, and there are other animals like Winnie who need sponsorship as well, uh, please go to our web channel, NBC15.com, and click on news links. Lindsay, thank you so much for all that you do for local children and animals in our community. We appreciate it. By the way, where yeah. are you located? Sorry, here I am saying go to the farm tour, not even saying oh, what city. Apologies. Verona. Verona. Uh, we're on Midtown Road. There we have it. Okay.